Hey, what's up you all? Welcome back to my channel. I'll be talking about ticker symbol ZOM, Zomedica Corp, one of our favorite, favorite stock that I covered on this channel for many times and a lot of people have invested in it. I got a lot of questions, so I would like to address some of these questions and uh, some of the comments that I got from subscribers and viewers. So we will review them. We'll also review what's going on with Zomedica as the Zomedica stock is in their commercialization phase. Once, uh, once also so we all talked about whether it can cross three dollars and we're pretty bullish on the stock so what it will take for zamedica to go above and beyond three dollars or four dollars price point so we'll talk about all the kind of good stuff consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already because we talked about zamedica when it was 40 cents or 50 cents level and i want to show you why we are we all love zamedica a lot more because we started talking about the stock when the stock was around this price point i remember buying this stock around 60 or 70 cents once again around 80 cents once again around one dollar and 60 ish cents right here so i bought multiple times zomedica and once again it's a favorite favorite stock we talked about it can go up to three dollars level but now it the, the dynamics have changed so i want to talk about some of the stuff that has changed what it'll take because 50 percent now think about it it's 50 percent for the zomedica corp from two dollars to three dollars so we should definitely talk about it and if you follow my channel for a long time and you might have bought the stock below one dollar level maybe like at 60 cents and it's still your favorite stock because you are making close to three or four times return on your investment now when i buy stock i think about how long will it take especially the penny stock for personally me, I think about how long will it take for this stock to go double, triple, or 10 times like BNGO. Sometimes things work out, sometimes it may not. And that's why it's important to keep reviewing, keep analyzing. It's not once and all done. It's not a turnkey investment. It's a passive income in a way, but you have to do a lot of research and analysis. So consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already for future updates. We have been talking about a lot of different stocks. We're talking about PLT, that was a great investment s and dl we bought it at pretty low price great investment we bought uamy at one dollar right now it's trading at one dollar and 30 cents or not some somewhere along those lines a great investment we talked about a lot of different stocks that turned out to be a pretty good investment so consider subscribe subscribing to my channel consider clicking on the like button so that this video can reach to more and more people now if you think about Zomedica Corp, it has close to 2000% return. So it's a great, great return in a way. But for one month, even the stock is uh, not really up. So if you bought it in last one month, you probably might have bought the hype and that's kind of a, a little bit of a challenge but I do believe that Zomedica has real business you'll probably if you bought it around this price point two dollars and 70 80 cents the stock went up to two dollars and 91 cents that was the highest price so it's not as down considering the penny stock the penny stocks are pretty volatile because of the small market cap small company small price point and whatnot but for six months and for year to date there is like 500 percent return so it's a great great in investment it proved it is proven for us at least for the viewers on this channel we have been reviewing pretty consistently so great investment but what it takes now for the stock to go up to three dollars level let's talk about it true forma is their product which helps the vet uh, pets and pet uh, owners and it true forma is a true product that detects severe health conditions as soon as within 20 minutes and what this does is that pet and pet owners they don't really have to go outside the clinic they don't have to send the samples and wait for back and forth so there is no delay there is no latency they can get the results right there and then and proceed on the next steps for pets uh, health uh, related situations so that is the that is what the company is doing why we were thinking that the stock can hit three dollars or four dollars or maybe five dollars i reviewed uh, some of the great articles on this channel as well because of the momentum that the stock had around their commercialization effort the company declared in november and december last year in 2020 that they will be releasing this true forma product and the company is losing uh, um, uh, uh, losing money at the moment as you can see close to four or five million every quarter because they are investing a lot more into the product research they're working with also a third party company but the company has a lot of cash on hand more than 200 million dollars i believe at this point 
point because of the company that, that raised capital they also cleaned their balance sheet their balance sheet look, looks pretty pretty strong so the company fundamentals are pretty strong but some of the things we want to also consider is they announced already the commercial sale of true forma and the first sale was made uh, on march 16th so three or four days back and since then the stock went the same day the stock went to two dollars and 72 cents and after that the stock is in a downward direction the stock dipped there could be some profit booking some healthy profit booking already happening because people bought the stock at 30 cents 40 cents one dollars and it's not too long ago it is in november december of 2020 or maybe in january so people are booking healthy profit because they might have the projection and they were waiting for this one of the big big catalyst i always said in on my videos in the past so i do not consider that as a negative thing because the company has a lot more potential one of the article that i just noticed before a few minutes right here zam stock price news zamedica corp extend losses as daily trading volume dries up now zam stock fa fell six to seven percent on thursday uh the growth stock continues to take a bidding despite of diagnostic platform true forma starting to sell the stock price has continued to suffer even despite the drop zomedica may still overvalued as a stock so there are a lot of articles and they talk about pros and cons but one of the things that i want to discuss is zomedica we still have a lot more things to learn about zomedica's true forma product some of the answers i do not know uh, particularly is how much uh, this uh, true forma product cost uh, what is the setup looks like what other efforts that the company the point of care locations will need to do in order to install and set up these services how big is the market what is the profitability of true forma product how much money so they have a th third party company uh corvo they are leveraging corvo's baw and radio frequency rf technology to innovate numerous products such as wi-fi routers so on and so forth that they are using in this true form of product we do not know is there any royalty deal is there any lump sum that they are paying for the patents because the corvo is a company and true forma is using around more it is protected by 70 plus patents issued so this is approximately 70 plus issued patents that true forma's diagnostic platform is using for baw technology developed by this corvo technology which is a third party non-optical fluorescent free detection system and point of care locations will also have additional cost to install this set up this and then they'll be able to start getting more and more patients the dogs and the cats so we'll have to see the how the market adoption works out if the company provides more information around let's say if they're selling 15 or 20 or or 50 or once again i have no idea so it's kind of like shooting an arrow in the dark so we do not know if the company announces tomorrow that the profitability is 50 percent and this is a long-term contract with the point of care location and then there are some add-on sales that comes with this product especially there is some recurring product that's the sell with true forma for the point of care locations and eventually it helps out the pet pet owners and also for the vets it's going to help out they have a third party also collaboration with Miller for distribution channel. So we'll also have to find out how that contract works out and how basically what is the profitability for Zomedica. Now looking at Zomedica, it's not a huge company, quite honestly. The company was founded in 2013 and their market cap is $1.90 billion. If we think about it's a $2.10 price point at the moment, the stock is trading at $2.04. Let's take a look at the volume their volume is 32 million uh, at the moment compared to their average volume of 182 million the volume has been relatively lower in past few days as you can see it is not about somewhere around even the average volume but that's the case for many micro cap stock at the moment because of the market uh, is not super stable at the moment there are lots of pros and cons around the bond and the yield there is a lot of announcement coming out and then there is stimulus check that people haven't gotten yet 
So all these reasons more or less are impacting stock market that also impacts up to an extent to Zamedica's stock as you can see right here. The stock went as low as $1.89, so went below $2 level. So that's why I think some people are also concerned. Now, once again, looking at their chart, the RSI looks 55. This is a current RSI. Let me take a look at the five-day RSI. The five-day RSI also should be looking pretty good. 50. It's not an overbought, not an oversold condition, pretty balanced RSI. The MACD is something I like to see. The, the blue line is the MACD, which is about the orange line. So it looks pretty good, pretty healthy to me. And uh, the stock can run up in more into the positive direction. But as I mentioned, what it takes for stock to run up, it's a lot more effort, a lot more visibility that the company can share with us about how much product they are selling, what is their sales ex expectation, some of the guidance in Q3. Uh, or sorry yep q3 or q2 i'm sorry in q2 that the company is expecting and what is the overall profitability their balance sheet is pretty good they do not have a series one or series a or preferred shares anymore their balance sheet and the cash situation is pretty good the company announced they had 90 million then they raised more capital they had i think 200 or 275 million pretty pretty huge number in the in the cash and cash equivalents so the company is pretty the company is pretty powerful at the at the moment if they want to expand their reach expand their product enhancement expand their point of care locations and also provide more and more services to their clients their partners as well so i do believe that the company has a great future but it all depends upon what the company and analyzes announces and gives us the guidance the stock has a potential but now the catalyst changes before the catalyst was the commercialization now the catalyst was, is profitability so it will be considered by percentage against the overall revenue and some of other factors that how much they are paying Corvo how much paying other companies so on and so forth so I wanted to share some of the concerns and questions I got from you I also wanted to review the stock once again and I wanted to say we all thought that it can go to three dollar level which does seem like it still can but it will have to wait for more information as to what the company is doing I hope you like this clarification if you do click on the like button click on the subscribe button once again for us if you follow this channel especially to me i i believe we started talking about this stock way too early we bought the stock especially i bought the stock around two one dollar and sixty cent sixty seventy cents level somewhere around right there and it's all profitable and i i still love zomedica zomedica is still our favorite stock I wanted to share this information. I hope you like it. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.